Welcome to the first episode of the second part of the Rogue Ones podcast, where we explore the lives of extraordinary folks doing fascinating things so we too can live remarkable lives. I'm your host and curator, Leslie Eiler Thompson, and today's guest continues the tradition I've set forth in this podcast, curating conversations with people you just need to know more about. Since you're here, it's probably because you've heard of this guest, and I don't need to tell you who he is, but here's why I love him. You may or may not be surprised to know that I've been a massive Sean White fangirl for a very long time. I remember watching him for the first time in 2006, his first gold medal. The Flying Tomato, they called him. Yes, I did mostly have a very large crush, but I was also completely shook by his abilities. I think that's what the youth are saying these days. Anyway, um, I remember the Olympic Games of 2010, sitting in my room as a sophomore in college, watching him do his second run, quote, for fun. He didn't even need to do it to win the gold medal. And then he stomped the double McTwist 1260 at the end. It was electric. He was magnificent. I still cry thinking about it. Interestingly, mere weeks prior, he had a pretty nasty fall in one of his X Games practice runs. He hit his head on the halfpipe and split his face open, and I remember exactly what he said in his interview after immediately doing the entire run again. Quote, I knew I needed to keep going and push through something like this, end quote. This was impressed upon my young kid mind as I had just begun to experience adult circumstances that ended with me falling down, earning some pretty painful wounds. Sean's words taught me that the sooner you get back up and try again, the sooner you are to sticking the landing. This conversation is one of triumph over one's past, returning to something a little bruised, but with more maturity to finish what you started. Please enjoy this conversation with Sean White. (laughs) You didn't think I actually talked to Sean White, did you? Well, trust me, I have tried. I've emailed him about 50 times, I've DM'd him on most all social accounts, he's clearly not interested. I can take a hint. Happy April Fool's Day, my friend. A new real episode will be ready for you on Friday morning with the one and only Leslie Mosier, mom and manager, otherwise known as momager, to Doug the Pug, the insta-famous canine with 3.7 million followers on Instagram. And Sean, if you are listening, can you just respond to my email real quick? Many thanks. Have a good week, Rogue One. We'll see you on Friday.